a very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Textbook Super Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well this Friday evening. Uh, we are going to be practicing questions or thodi limited questions because today is a marathon where we are going to practice 100 questions ko back to back. Practice karne wale hai. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 10.30pm because tomorrow at the mega marathon mein we will be practicing uh, close to about 100 questions. Questions. ठीक है तो अच्छी तरह से देखेगा इसमें सारी की सारी टाइप की क्वेश्चंस होंगे जो एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चंस हैं कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हैं कुछ डिटेल क्वेश्चंस भी वी आर गोइंग बी लुकिंग एट सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू ट्यून इन टुमारो एट 10:30 पीएम तो आज जल्दी से स्टार्ट करते हैं गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग देवशेष गुड इवनिंग डोमिनेटर लिटरेचर वाला प्रियु सतेंद्र क्वीन कस्तूरी जामर विशाल गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग कोमल मैंने आपको कल ही बोल दिया था यू विल हैव टू राइट ऑल ऑफ दिस सो दैट यू आर एबल टू क्रैक इट बेटर तो जल्दी से लेट्स जस्ट क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड आई जस्ट गिव अ नोटिफिकेशन एस वेल सो दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर अप एंड रनिंग ओके चलिए जल्दी से लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग शबनम गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग श्वेता पद्मा अमृता ऋषिकेश चल जल्दी से स्टार्ट करते हैं आज जो क्वेश्चन है लेट्स जस्ट क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड इनको अच्छी तरह से ऑर्गेनाइज मैनर में आप लिखना शुरू कर दीजिएगा इनकेस अगर कोई भी डाउट आ रहा होगा तो दैट वी विल ऑफकोर्स लुक एट तो जल्दी से लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट जल्दी से लेट्स जस्ट गेट स्टार्टेड विद योर क्वेश्चंस फॉर टुडे यहां पे आपके क्वेश्चंस आ रहे हैं ओके सो लेट्स क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड ऑफ कोर्स टेलीग्राम पे भी आप हाइपर एक्टिव हो जाइए बिकॉज कुछ कुछ क्वेश्चंस एंड क्वेश्चंस हम लोग इस प्लेटफॉर्म पे भी प्रैक्टिस करेंगे ओके नाउ व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट योर 13 डेज काउंटडाउन कल एक स्ट्रेटजी वीडियो भी हम मैंने बनाई थी आई जस्ट चेक अदर दैट्स बीन अपलोडेड और नॉट और उस स्ट्रेटजी वीडियो में यही हम बता रहे हैं कि देयर हैव टू बी दीस टू टू थ्री वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिसोर्सेज दैट यू हैव टू रेफर टू आप उस स्ट्रेटजी वीडियो को एक बार जरूर देख लीजिएगा वाइटी शॉट को जरूर देख लीजिएगा सो दैट get more clarity uh usme aapko aur zyada clarity ho jayegi this is your first question for today aaj ke liye aapka first question hai uh to jaldi se let's get started and please start answering this question which of the following theatrical arts are not infused into the narrative of vijay tendulkar's ghashiram kotwal ghashiram kotwal ghashiram kotwal uh, ghashiram kotwal is again a very important work it's a path breaking epic work that we are able to see indian drama ke evolution mein it plays a very critical रोल सो घाशीराम कोटवाल का क्या इंपॉर्टेंट रोल है व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट रोल दैट यू आर एबल टू सी एंड इनमें से कौन सी चीजें उसमें इंक्लूडेड नहीं है ओके वी गॉट द राइट आंसर वी गॉट द राइट आंसर कुछ कुछ लोगों ने कस्तूरी हैज गिवन द राइट आंसर ओके कस्तूरी हैज गिवन द राइट आंसर प्रज्ञा वी विल टॉक अबाउट इट इट्स नॉट के 2014 से पहले इट्स नॉट लाइक और के बाकी एग्जाम्स की तरह नहीं है ये तो यहां पर आपको दो तीन चीजें थोड़ी बहुत जो ध्यान में रखनी पड़ेंगी वो ये है कि आपको सारे क्वेश्चन अच्छी तरह से अटेम्प्ट करें वील इवन टॉक अबाउट ये अच्छा क्वेश्चन आपने बोला मैं एक ये भी बता दूंगी शॉर्ट के थ्रू के कौन कौन से प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली आपको करनी चाहिए ओके डी इज एब्सोल्यूटली द राइट आंसर डी इज एब्सोल्यूटली द राइट आंसर सो इनमें से कौन से नहीं यूज हुए हैं लावनी हैज बीन यूज तमाशा हैज बीन यूज अभंगस हैज बीन यूज लेकिन चाहू हैज नॉट बीन यूज ओके व्हाट इज नॉट बीन यूज चाहू हैज नॉट बीन यूज सो ये चीज आप देख पा रहे हैं दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू आर एबल टू सी दैट चाहू इज समथिंग व्हिच इज नॉट बीन यूज्ड आई विल जस्ट सी व्हाई द पेन इज नॉट Give me one minute. I'll make the pen functional. Yeah. So chahu is not something which is being used over here. So Ghashiram Kotwal. Let me also uh, shift myself a little. Let me just shift myself a little that you will be able to see. Nana Padnavis ka jo character hai, that of course becomes important in Ghashiram Kotwal. Uh, so Nana Padnavis ka character is there, and this Marathi play which is coming from the pen of Vijay Tendulkar. Uh, please yaad rakhna. It is actually just like aapka Tughlaq is critical of the post Nehruvian era. Ghashiram Kotwal is actually critical of what was happening in Maharashtra politics at that time. Uh, it is also critically looking at uh, the entire rise uh, of uh, uh, you know uh, Balasaheb Thakre's government. So uh, that part bhi aapka aa jata hai. That is also something which is being spoken about in this particular play. Okay. So Abhangas, Abhangas is devotional song. So when we are looking at Abhangas, Abhangas ke andar kya kya aa jata hai? Abhangas ke andar aapka devotional songs aa rahe hain. Uh, that is one priority area that we are able to see i don't know why this pen doesn't work anyway uh, so your abhangas is coming your abhangas it one pass 
Yeah, so your abhangas is there, uh, lavnis are mixed all together, lavnis are your or your love songs that are there, or tamasha we use all right. So abhangas is there, abhangas hai, lavni hai, but what you're able to see, you're able to look at ki kaise aapka chau nahi hai, chau is actually not there. So please keep that in mind. Moving on to the next question, which of the following plays by Harry Pinter opens with a scene in the basement where two, where two men, uh, hitmen are waiting for their assignment? Two hitmen. This is hitmen. As far as can see, so here, what are we talking about? Here we are talking about two hitmen. This two hitmen. This hitmen. Okay, what is the correct answer? Very good. D, Kafi Logone, Dominator Rajneesh has given the right answer. Ravi Pandey has given the right answer. Kasturi Khatun has given the right answer. So, Yaha par Dumb Waiter is absolutely right. Dumb Waiter is a one act play. Or Kon Kon, Aapke Hitman hai, Ben and Gus. Kya naam hai Hitman ka? Ben and Gus, Aapka naam hai Hitman ka. To ye bhi aapko thoda sa dhyan mein rakna hai. That uh, Harold Pinter, Harold Pinter, who is a Nobel Prize winning writer, he is associated with your theater of menace. Theater of menace. से हैरी पिंटर एसोसिएटेड हैं टू हिटमैन कौन हैं टू हिटमैन आर बेन एंड गस बेन एंड गस जो हैं दे आर योर हिटमैन बेन एंड गस जो हैं दे आर योर हिटमैन दैट वे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो डम वेटर प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट इसको अभी भी साथ साथ में ये रिवाइज कर लीजिएगा इट इज अ वन एक्ट प्ले बाय हैरल पिंटर बेन एंड गस आर देयर जैसे कल मैंने जो एक वाइटी शॉट बनाया मुझे देखना पड़ेगा वो अपलोड हुआ है कि नई स्ट्रेटजी का तो अगर आप ऑक्सफोर्ड कंपेनियन देख रहे हैं तो ऑक्सफोर्ड कंपेनियन को अभी निकालिए हैरल पिंटर को गो थ्रू कीजिए ट्राई टू रिवाइज इट ऑल टूगेदर दैट शुड बी योर स्ट्रेटजी okay and play job start hota hai to ben the senior member of the team he is reading a newspaper and gus the junior member is tying his shoes theek hai gus is asking ben many questions he is asking these many many questions all together as he is getting ready theek hai to overall dumb waiter ke andar these are the two hitmen ben and gus who are coming in okay Overall, just story hai that you have to remember, and of course, when we are looking at the theater of absurd, uh, uh, you know, theater of menace is the modern version of theater of absurd. Now, but theater of absurd me, just like you are waiting for Godot, me, see, pa do. So, Samuel Beck's waiting for Godot is also there, right? So, ye cheez bhi aap dekh pa do. Moving on to the next question, let's see how many of you are able to get the right answer for this. Which of the following figures from Arthurian legend appears in William Rowley's play The Birth of Merlin? The Birth of Merlin. The Birth of Merlin. So which of the following characters comes in over there? Birth of Merlin jo hai. Which of the following Arthurian legends? Arthurian legends appears in William Rowley's play The Birth of Merlin. The Birth of Merlin. The birth of Merlin or the child hath found uh, his father. This is a Jacobian play that you're able to see. Okay. Uh, Pooja Maurya has given the right answer. Ravi Pandey has given the right answer. Uh, that is absolutely uh, correct. That is absolutely correct. Okay. Bilkul say. Bilkul say. Amruta Mani saying yes, it's uploaded. So yeah, so you can take a look at it every day. Ab do do strategy videos I'll keep on sharing so that it's beneficial for all of you. Okay. What becomes the correct answer? D is absolutely right. So uh, which of the following figures? जो आर्थोरियन लेजेंड से आ रहे हैं राउडी के प्ले में द बर्थ ऑफ मेरोलिन द बर्थ ऑफ मेरोलिन में यू आर एबल टू सी आर्थर पेंड्रगन का कैरेक्टर इज डेफिनेटली कमिंग वॉटी जर्न का कैरेक्टर इज कमिंग एंड ऑरिलिस एम्ब्रोसियस का आ रहा है पूना का नहीं आ रहा है पूना यू आर एबल टू सी इन फेरी क्वीन ओके So again, please remember the birth of Merlin. Its ka subtitle kya hai? Child has found his father. This is a Jacobian play which is coming from the pen of Rowley. Ka pehli baar kab aaya tha? 1622 mein Curtin Theatre mein performance hua tha. And it has this comic depiction of the birth of a fully grown Merlin to a country girl. Merlin ka birth ho raha hai to a country girl all together. And these all characters, Arthur Pendergon, Wartigen, Aurelius Ambrose, they are all coming. They are all coming all together that you are able to see. Una is not there. Una you are able to see in the Fairy Queen, but Una's character is not here. Okay. Okay. What is the code word used by Eliot and Amanda in the second uh, act of Noble Coward's play? Private lives. Noel Coward is also another important uh, playwright that we are able to see. So, <clears throat> when we are looking at Noel Coward, uh, can you can you quickly tell us what is it? So, ये comedy of manners है. Again, divorced couple के बारे में है. They are honeymooning with their new spouses. 
and uh, you know they remember this code word that's being used very good very good amrita vani amaya everybody is given the right answer pooja everybody is right solomon isaacs right solomon isaacs solomon isaacs is absolutely the correct answer uh ki ek indian movie bhi iske upar bani hui thi right that is what you are able to see so private lives jo hai this is your comedy of manners that is coming in this is telling you about divorce couple going um, and honeymooning at the same place with their new spouse and they are staying in adjacent rooms in the same hotel all together they had a very stormy relationship but they still have feelings for each other that is what they are able to actually see and second act me after the dinner at paris flat several uh, you know seven days later both elliot and amanda they are using their code word that is solomon isaac solomon isaac is also called solux solux to start uh, stop their arguments that was a keyword jab they say solomon isaac okay Uh, what is the name of play within a play? Uh, a sexual farce, uh, farce, farce by uh, Michael Frayn's nineteen eighty two play that is Noises of. What is the correct answer over here? ये सारी चीजें आपको रॉटलिज में भी मिल जाएंगी सो फिर गो टू पोस्ट मॉडर्न राइटिंग्स इन रॉटलिज यू यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड मोस्ट ऑफ दीज वर्क्स आर रेडी डन सो यहाँ पर व्हाट इज द करेक्ट आंसर एवरीवन व्हाट बिकम्स द करेक्ट आंसर जल्दी से बताइए okay uh, we've got amruta vani is on fire amruta vani is giving the right answers so play within a play the meta theatrical play that we are talking about so yahan par play within a play what are we able to see uh, yahan prime ke play mein there is nothing there is nothing on right so nothing on is absolutely the correct answer nothing on is absolutely the correct answer that you are able to see so noises of cho hai this is by prime and each of the three acts of noises of it contains the performance of the first act of the play within a play all together right it's coming together Okay, so again, moving on to the next question. What is the name? What is the name of the banished lord living under the name Morgan, uh, who abducted King Cymbeline's infant sons, infant sons, in retaliation for his banishment in, uh, right, banishment in Shakespeare's play Cymbeline. Okay, so this is in retaliation. In retaliation, I just uh, tell you, in retaliation. For his banishment in Shakespeare's play Cymbeline. So, what is the name of the banished lord? What is the name of the banished lord? What is the very good, very good queen? Bilkul sahi, bilkul sahi. Belarus, right? Belarus, Belarus is absolutely the right answer over here, right? Belarus is the right answer. He is the banished lord living under the name Morgan, who has abducted uh, King uh, Cymbeline's infant sons altogether. ठीक है तो सिम्बलिन अगेन ये जो वर्क है यू आर एबल टू सी सेकंड ब्रिटेन वन ऑफ द वर्क्स अदरवाइज ऑल द प्लेस ऑफ शेक्सपियर दैट दैट आउटसाइड ब्रिटेन दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू आर एबल टू सी एंड कैसे यू आर एबल टू सी दैट यू नो दे वर स्टोलन द द किड्स वर स्टोलन बाय द एग्जाइल ट्रेटर एंड दिस एग्जाइल ट्रेटर इज कॉल्ड बिलारिस सिम्बलिन ऑफ कोर्स कम्स टू नो दैट इज ओनली चाइल्ड लेफ्ट इज हिज डॉटर इमोजीन इमोजीन आल्सो कॉल्ड एज इनोजिन हैज सीक्रेटली मैरिड हर लवर पोस्टुमस तो पूरा जो कॉम्प्लिकेशन Okay, these characters. The best way to remember Shakespearean plays is by creating mind maps, so that you remember and keep on revising those mind maps. Automatically, these stories will become a lot more clearer. Especially if you're preparing for your PGTs, where you have Shakespeare, Aata hi hai. It's always a good idea to actually remember that. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Belarus is the traitor. What is the setting of Brendan Behan's play, The Queer Fellow? The Queer Fellow. So what is the setting of this play? What is the setting of this play? The Queer Fellow. What is the setting of Brendan Behan's play, The Queer Fellow? The Queer Fellow का क्या setting है? What is the setting of Queer Fellow? ओके नो बडी गिवन द राइट आंसर नो बडी इज गिवन द राइट आंसर अभी सारे आंसर आ रहे हैं सही के अलावा प्रिजन किसी ने भी नहीं दिया अभी तक प्रिजन किसी ने भी नहीं दिया अभी तक ठीक है द सेटिंग ऑफ ब्रेंडन बेहन प्ले द सेटिंग ऑफ ब्रेंडन बेहन प्ले तो प्लीज ये कंफ्यूज नहीं होना है क्वे फेलो ब्रेंडन बेहन का जो प्ले है ब्रेंडन बेहन का जो फर्स्ट प्ले है राइट वट आर यू एबल टू सी इट वॉज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर एंड द टाइटल इज टेकन फ्रॉम हिबर्नोज इंग्लिश राइट 
queer, queer jo hai, that is strange, that is what you are able to see, okay? Uh, so please don't go wrong with such kind of questions at all. Jo aapka pre, uh, the, the play, where is it set? It's set in Mount Joy Prison, Dublin. Mount Joy Prison. Joy se aapko kya yaad aare? Suggestopedia, where joy and happiness is conjoined with the teaching and learning process of English. So just correlate because you know the more you're going to be correlating, the better grasp you will have on the concept. The better you will be able to retain it all together. So, our queer fellow over here, <clears throat> you will have to keep in mind, is set in the prison house. Okay, so please keep that in mind. And yeah, it is actually trying to give you a realistic portrait also. So, you have a realistic portrait de raha hai of the prison uh, that you were able to see over there. So, please keep that in mind. Uh, just remember that overall because you know a lot of times when these kind of questions are actually coming in, uh, you often get confused. Just like, abhi aap ho gaye the, aadhi se zada bachon ne nahi sahi jawab diya tha. So don't go wrong with such kind of questions. Okay, moving on to the next question that is coming your way. Quickly tell us what is the correct answer here. Quickly tell us what is the correct answer here. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, Arshia Siddiqui has given the right answer. Very good, Arshia. Good try, Ruchi. The following lines appear in the preface of which of the following plays by G.B. Shaw? Which of the following plays by G.B. Shaw, right? Uh, so, the following lines that you're able to see, let's just quickly go uh, to this. Yeah, the following lines appear in the preface of which of the following plays by G.B. Shaw, which of the following plays by G.B. Shaw. There are no villains in the piece, crime like disease, it's not interesting. It's something to be done away by the general consent and that is three. Uh, it is what men do at their best with good intentions and what normal men and women find that they must do in spite of their intentions, what really concerns us. So Saint Juan is absolutely the right answer. Okay, Saint Juan is absolutely the correct answer over here. Uh, so what are you able to see? Saint Joan, John Bernard Shaw, G.B. Shaw ka ye jo hai. Um, here, what is it telling you about? It's about the 15th century French military figure. Who's this French military figure that we're talking about? This French military figure is Duan of Arc, right? And it was premiering in 1923, three years after the canonization by the Roman Catholic Church altogether. So ye pura ka pura jo work hai, that of course is important to, uh, that you are able to see, okay? So please keep that in mind. Moving on to the next question that is coming your way, please quickly tell us what is the correct answer here. Yes, very good, very good. What is the correct answer over here, everyone? The playwright and professor of theatre studies, John M. Callum, called the play Dash a turning point in the history of gay drama, uh, the history of American drama and American literary culture. Identify the play. You have to identify the play. What is the play? Very good. Excellent. Uh, and what is the subtitle? A gay fantasia on national themes. That is what you are able to see. Who is writing it? Tony Kushner is writing it. Tony Kushner is a modern uh, drama. Mein hai. If you have if made notes, proper notes, uh, even for your net exam, you can actually never ever study modern drama without having done Tony Kushner. So what are you able to see? That how important the role of Tony Kushner is, right? How important the role of Tony Kushner is altogether, right? So Angel in America, Angels in America. This is, of course, the play that we are talking about. What is the subtitle? Is the subtitle kya hai? Angels in America ka? We are able to see Angels in America, Gay Fantasia on National Themes. Ye two part ka play hai by Tony Kushner. Tony Kushner is writing it. Uh, it is trying to examine. It's trying to examine your, uh, you know, your overall acquired, you know, deficiency syndrome. Homosexuality is also done, and ye important ho jata hai. Uh, and and overall also Tony Kushner the kind of themes that he's dealing with just like Mahesh Dattani is also talking about the same in Indian drama that's the important role that Tony Kushner also plays okay uh, this is Rosenkatz and Gildistan are dead by Tom Stupan okay uh, Berenger is a character from which of the following absurd drama which of the following absurd drama are you able to see the character are you able to see this particular character of Berenger Berenger ka character are kaha pe dekh pa rahe ho when are you able to see Berenger's character Where are you able to notice uh, and see Beringer's character? 
Very good, very good. Rhinoceros by Eugene Ionesco is absolutely the correct answer. So, Rhinoceros by Eugene Ionesco, Rhinoceros by Eugene Ionesco, that is where we are able to see Berenger's character. Berenger is this character from the absurdist drama uh, where Rhinoceros is also like you know, so Rhinoceros is the play that we are looking at. Rhinoceros, Martin Eslin K. Theater of Absurd may be included. Tha. And we are able to see that this particular work, right? Many people said that it's very narrow. Uh, what I you able to see the only human who does not succumb to this metamorphosis everybody is turning into a rhinoceros is the central character Berenger Berenger is the every man right Berenger is the every man he's tardy he's lazy he's a drunkard altogether that you're able to see he's slovenly a core theme hai, uh, that you know in 20th century you're able to see a lot of people are tardy a lot of people are uh, you know they, they they aren't really there so ye, ye se aapko yaad rakhni hai. Uh, Okay, so yes, Ari Chize, you, you will have to uh, keep in mind, you will have to remember all together. Uh, please remember that because. Uh Yes, yes, yes. Uh, remember, even when we were looking at Thomas Nelly, Thomas Nelly's Skindler's arc, is, so Skindler, Oscar Skindler is actually a tardy person. He is very lazy. He is not the man. So you're talking about proof frog generation, right? Uh, all the people in the 20th century, they're, they're actually having some problems or the other. So this is actually a possible theme of interrogation. Ban jata hai. What is the right answer over here? What is the right answer over here? Carl Churchill's play Cloud Nine is divided into two acts with a duration of with the duration of it is divided into two acts so british playwright carl churchill is writing it okay Okay, C is absolutely the right answer, but I think one or two of you have actually done that. 25 years is the correct answer. So, two acts ke beech mein jo duration aara hai, that's actually your 25 years, right? 25 years. So, Cloud 9, ye two act play hai. This is written by the British playwright Carl Churchill. Ye jo do acts of the play hai, they are actually having a counterpunctual structure. Counterpunctual uh, structure, that means it's counter uh, contradicting uh, its own self. Remember, Edward Said also talked about counterpunctual reading, deconstructionist readings are counterpunctual in nature. Act 1 ke under it is set in British colonial Africa and Victorian era and Act 2 is set in London Park, in London Park altogether. And kitna time pass ho gaya hai? 25 years has passed, 25 years has passed, that is what you are able to see. Uh, okay, moving on to the next question that you are having, in which of the plays uh, by Lorca does death disguised as an old beggar woman enters and speaks speaks of finiteness of life. Life is finite, it's not infinite. So which which play are we talking about? Which play are we talking about? Bodas the Sangre. Bodas the Sangre. Which one is this? Which one is this Bodas the Sangre? A absolutely right. Very good Aziz. Uh, very nice. It's blood wedding, right? It's blood wedding. So blood wedding ke under you are able to see that death comes in as an old beggar woman, right? So please keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind. So uh, when we are looking at blood wetting, blood wetting is this tragedy by the Spanish dramatist. So Frederico Garcia Lorca is writing this particular work. It was written in 1932. Um, then it was performed at you know the, the Teatro Brex in Madrid in March 1933, and then of course at Buenos Aires in Argentina as well. Third ke under third act ke under uh, you know when uh, people are out in the forest what are you able to see that three woodcutters they come they emerge to discuss the events they are coming to discuss the events all together um, and that is when the old beggar woman is also coming and talking about the finiteness death is disguised as this old beggar woman okay uh, all right jess butterworth's play mojo is what is the correct answer over here what is the correct answer over here jess butterworth's play mojo is mojo is what is it what is this an example of 
मॉडर्न ड्रामा को भी अच्छी तरह से कर लीजिएगा वी ऑफ कॉस्ट भी टॉक अबाउट इवन ऑन यूट्यूब या कमिंग अप विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सीरीज पोस्ट योर एग्जाम्स तो थोड़ा अगर जून अटैम्प के लिए प्रिपेयरिंग जस्ट भी वेरी रेगुलर एंड रिलीजियस विद ऑल पास ब्लैक कॉमेडी इज एब्सोल्यूटली द करेक्ट आंसर ब्लैक कॉमेडी इज एब्सोल्यूटली द राइट आंसर सो जेस बाटरवर्थ का जो प्ले है मोजो ब्लैक कॉमेडी बिकम्स द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है तो प्लीज इसको थोड़ा सा ध्यान में रखना इसको प्लीज थोड़ा सा अपने ध्यान में रखना प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ऑल्सो that how you are able to see it's a black comedy robert bolts play a man for all season a man for all season is concerned with which of the historical personalities it's concerned with which of the historical personalities it's concerned with you know it's literally telling you the the story of sir thomas more right it's telling you the story of sir thomas more so aapko kya lagta hai kaun si personalities ke upar hai aapko kya lagta hai kaun si personalities ke upar hai right very good uh, b go, uh, queen has got the right answer very good very nice absolutely right henry the 8th is the right answer henry the 8th is the right answer over here a man for all seasons so man for all seasons by robert bolt jo hai uh, you are able to see it's telling about sir thomas more it's based on the historical events that is leading up to the execution of more all together uh, okay he is a 16th century chancellor he refused to endorse henry the 8th's wish to divorce his wife catherine of aragon because you wanted to get married to an bolian okay robert browning's pipa passes robert browning's pipa passes which are the following italian towns is mentioned which are the following italian towns is mentioned which are the following italian towns is mentioned in robert browning's pipa passes which are the following italian towns is mentioned kaun se town ko mention kiya gaya hai it's a verse drama very good a solo good ye to bahut jaldi aap logo ne sahi jawab de diya hai so pipa passes pipa passes which is a verse drama which is a verse drama published in 1841 uh, which is a part of bells and pomegranate series yahan par young blameless silk winding girl is wandering innocently through the environments of a solo a solo theek hai and in her mind attributing kindness and virtue to the people that she you know passes uh, on with okay now i'm giving you i'm giving you uh, i'm giving you a couple of quick questions as well one second uh, i'm giving you right i'm giving you some extra questions but like i told you today i'll let you go a little early because tomorrow is your 100 questions marathon uh kya classroom students ke liye to kafi sari classes hain you have a class at 12 o'clock on cultural studies so cultural studies in english in india ka proper revision hoga uh, classroom students ke sath and then 8 and 9:30 pm to hai hi hai but 10:30 pm very important please block your calendars because you are going to be having a maha marathon mock net of 100 questions so uh, please make a note of that i'm giving you a few quick additional questions as well थोड़े से और क्वेश्चंस एक बार प्रैक्टिस कर लेते हैं ठीक है एक बार और जल्दी से क्वेश्चंस को प्रैक्टिस कर लेते हैं देन आई लेट यू ऑल गो जल्दी से बताइए व्हाट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर हियर जल्दी से बताइए व्हाट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर हियर हु इज सैमसन्स वाइफ इन जॉन मिल्टन सैमसन एगनेस इन जॉन मिल्टन सैमसन एगनेस दिस इज सैमसन एगनेस हु इज द वाइफ दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट who is the wife that we are looking at pooja maurya has answered it correctly amaya has answered it correctly very good this is dilia right this is dilia that we are talking about right this is dilia that we are talking about just give me one second so who is this person that we are looking at we are looking at dilia this is dilia's character who's coming in okay so uh, please make a note of it and please remember this as well because a lot of times people actually go wrong with such kind of simple questions so samson agnes again a tragic closet drama uh, yahan par you are able to see the three women uh, that milton had in his own life that is uh, you know catherine uh, woodcock elizabeth munch minshul uh, so again what are you able to see that mary powell uh, so mary powell is the first one uh, then catherine woodcock and then you know you, you are also able to see that uh, elizabeth minshul is coming in so So, um, you you need to remember that all these women have had an impact on his career. Uh, okay, all of these women uh, they they had an impact on the way that he was reacting. So, ये चीजें आपको थोड़ी सी ध्यान में रखनी पड़ेगी. Okay, all right. Let's move on to the next question. In Tennessee Williams, in Tennessee Williams drama Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, which of the following characters is diagnosed? Which of the following characters is diagnosed with cancer? Which of the following characters is diagnosed with cancer? Who's diagnosed with cancer? in this particular work 
who's diagnosed with cancer very good uttam very good big daddy is the right answer big daddy is the right answer very good amaya right big daddy is absolutely the right answer over here so again tennessee williams vesebi tennessee williams eugene o'neill arthur miller these are the three pillars of american drama that we've been talking about and nobody classroom class maybe abhi isko cover kiya tha recently when we were looking at american drama don't go wrong with these these are very simple easy questions that you're able to see questions related to arthur miller uh, questions related to arthur miller's crucible uh, death of a salesman the common man strategy crucible based on salem witch trials or otherwise eugene o'neill ka jo aa raha hai long days journey into night so you know all the plays you'll have to iceman come in uh, all the plays you'll have to understand it and of course here when we're looking at you are able to see that you know the, the plays so cat on a hot tin roof by tensi williams again very important uh, just like the other street car named desire uh, having stanley's character having blanche the boy's character both sari characters are at fingertips pe ho jane chahiye also because you know we've been practicing it which of the following statements is not true about the good woman of selma about the good women of selma which of the following is not true which of the following statements is not true which of the following statements is not true about the good woman of selma the good woman of selma which is not true which is not true what is the correct answer over here which is not true which is not true. very good dominator ritnish uh, three gods descend uh, from the heaven to the mortal a uh, mortal earth uh, to the city of sashwan that's true uh, shanti uses the reward to open a tobacco shop that's true shanti invents an imaginary cousin this is also true ta shuta is there shuta is there that's true the conflict is solved at the end of the play uh, so what are you able to see unfortunately we are we are able to see that conflict is not something which is actually getting resolved right the conflict is not getting completely resolved or rather the world is shown to be a bad place altogether okay so brecht uh, is coming he is writing the good woman of selma uh, that is what you are able to see bertol brecht brecht is coming it's telling you the story of this young prostitute woman with good heart and that is how she is getting uh, money because you know she she is helping the gods all and gods are very happy to see her overall like the way that she does but unfortunately there is no resolution right there is no resolution and welcome to postmodernism because life is not going to be hunky dory remember the first and unse- unsuccess story that we are able to see just a house for mr biswas uh, by vs naipaul mr biswas is not able to make a successful story for himself right it's not a happily happily ever after so conflict ko resolve nahi kiya jata hai who among the following english playwrights wrote screenplays or novels such as marcel proust in search of lost time john powell's uh, french lieutenant woman and margaret atwood's handmaid's tale what is the correct answer here What is the the correct answer here? Abhi we were talking about this play, uh, playwright होम कमिंग बिट्रेयर ये सारे इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेस हैं बट वी आर ऑल्सो एबल टू सी दैट ही इज राइटिंग स्क्रीन प्लेस फॉर फ्रेंच लेफ्टिनेंट वुमन बाय जॉन पाउल्स फॉर स्लूथ राइट फॉर द गो बिटवीन ही इज राइटिंग ऑल दीस स्क्रीन प्लेस एज वेल ओके सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड एंड ऑल ऑफ दीस अदर्स आल्सो यू कैन कीप दैट इन माइंड ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जॉन हेवर्ड रोट अ farcical इंटरल्यूड दिस इज farcical इंटरल्यूड व्हाट इज दिस दिस टर्म दैट यू आर एबल टू सी ओवर Yeah, this is farcical, farcical interlude called the four P's. The four P's are very simple. ये फिर भी आता है आपके exam में. What are the four P's? ये किसी का भी गलत नहीं होना चाहिए. ये किसी का भी गलत नहीं होना चाहिए. What are the four P's that we are talking about? D. Supratim is absolutely right. It is the palmer, the partner, the apothecary, and the peddler. Right? The palmer, the partner, the apothecary, and the peddler. That is absolutely the correct answer. Right? Uh, so these these questions again, when we are talking about development of drama, John Haywood, um, how you are able to see the drama eventually develops, and these four uh, characters that are coming in. So ये तो आपको ध्यान में रखना है. Guy Butler's play Demia, a play that can Carried with it a strong message against apartheid and a possible solution for South Africa's future. Shares elements from which of the following classic plays? It's sharing elements from which of the following classic plays? It's sharing elements from which of the following classic plays? Which classic plays? May say it's sharing elements. Media is absolutely the right answer. 
ओके मीडिया इज एब्सोल्युटली द राइट आंसर सो गाय बटलर का जो डीमिया है गाय बटलर का जो प्ले डीमिया है व्हाट आर वी एबल टू सी इट इज सेट लूजली इन 1820 ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ द ग्रेट ट्रेक अक्रॉस साउथ अफ्रीका एंड द ग्रेट ट्रेक मिथोलॉजी जो थी एंड ओवरऑल यू आर एबल टू सी दैट यू नो इट इज एक्चुअली बेस्ड ऑन मीडिया एज़ वेल Okay, which of the following play dramatizes a conflict between Spain and England? It dramatizes a conflict between Spain and England. Spain and England के बीच में कौन सा play dramatizes this conflict? A game of chess, a game at chess, right? A game at chess. This is also mentioned by T. S. Eliot. A game at chess. A game at chess. Very good. I think uh, Dominator had answered it correctly. A game at chess, which is talking about this entire conflict between Spain and England. ये पूरा का पूरा आपका mention होता है. Okay, so please remember that. Which of the following English rivers? English rivers appears in a chase made in Cheapside. A chase made in Cheapside. Which of the following rivers is coming? Which of the following rivers is coming? Which of the following rivers is coming in Cheap made? Uh, in a cheap side. Very good, very good, very good. Thames is absolutely the right answer. Thames is absolutely the right answer. ठीक है. So please keep that in mind because a lot of times the same kind of questions are coming. So uh, you will have to remember Herbert का river का भी we had recently done the question. Uh, the two, the two Menexes is a play by which of the following Roman playwrights? Very, very famous, very popular Latin language play. Often considered to be the greatest achievement by this particular person, right? Uh, what is the right answer over here? ये सबका सही होना चाहिए. Nobody should get it wrong. Nobody should get it wrong. What is the correct answer here? A is very good. Supratim, Plautus, Plautus, the writer, the same writer writing the Pot of Gold. He is the one who is associated with it, right? Uh, so please keep that in mind that how you are able to see. Uh, and and Shakespeare's comedy of errors was also actually inspired by this particular play. ये question आपके exam में आता भी है. So twins, Menachemus of Epidamus and Menachemus of Cyprus. Uh, that is how you know. And and overall how they are lost. Uh, and they are coming together and they are mistaken identity creating uh, a humor of sorts. Moving on to the next question, David Hake का play My Boy Jack, uh, Jack, My Boy Jack, My Boy Jack is based on the episodes of which of the following English writers? Is this is Jack is uh, based on My Boy Jack, My Boy Jack is based on the episodes of which of the following English writers? And it's very touching because the same man gave you the concept of white man's burden to give you a hint. What is the correct answer, everybody? Tell me, what is the correct answer? D is the correct answer. Okay, D is the correct answer. Rudyard Kipling. Remember, he was the one who lost his uh, son as well. So my boy Jack is telling you the story of Rudyard Kipling and his grief because his son had passed away. अब आप इसको compare करो George Sanders के work Lincoln and Bardo पर. याद है last week जब हम लोगों ने practice sessions start नहीं किए थे, we were looking at Booker award winning books. We were talking about Booker award winning books. So when we were looking at Booker award winning books, what were we really talking about? We were talking about this only Lincoln and Bardo by George Saunders. George Saunders ने ये लिखा है. So you know. Title is coming from Kipling's poem My Boy Jack. My Boy Jack ends with this poem. You know he's re reciting this particular poem all together. Okay, war. Uh, so Rudyard Kipling changed his uh, views. Just like we see that Chaucer, who is giving Palinode, is giving in the form of Legend of Good Women, which is a Palinode to Troilus and Cressida. Rudyard Kipling, who talks about white man's burden, is changing his opinion after he sees his, his son dying. That is what you are able to look at. So please remember this. It's a beautifully touching play and poem as well. What is the correct answer here, everybody? Which of the following sets of literary works qualifies as high burlesque and low burlesque burlesque literature respectively what is the correct answer over here high and low high and low burlesque when you're trying to actually give a very comic shape to something so which is uh, which is an example of high burlesque and which is an example of low burlesque over here high and low burlesque jaldi se bataiye 
No, no, no. High and low burlesque. It's shape of the lock that is considered to be an example of high burlesque and hudi brass as the low burlesque. Now, what you have to do the strategy I have told you. You have to Oxford companion. When it will be class and open it. Read rape of the lock from uh, uh, the Oxford companion. Uh, revise the pointers if you've looked at. Look at hudi brass and cover and revise those pointers. This is important to you. This is very important. So, please keep that in mind that when we are looking at burlesque when we are talking about burlesque right uh, burlesque kya hota? it's parody it's, it's like you know completely you're changing uh, and you're converting a serious situation to a uh, to a horribly uh, changed uh, situation right to a humorous situation altogether so that becomes an example of burlesque so high burlesque rape of the law low burlesque qd brass okay so samuel butler ka jo play which is making fun of the puritans that is an example of low burlesque altogether okay please remember that Okay, Jeff Butterworth's play Jerusalem is set against the backdrop of, it is set against the backdrop of, it is set against the backdrop of, it is set against the backdrop of, what is it set against the backdrop of? The story high burlesque is a lot more serious in nature, uh, whereas low burlesque is actually going to be using sensational things, it will be using low comic humor, it was dignified humor and that was like a little uh, very commonplace pop pick type of humor, that is high and low burlesque that we are able to see, so elements are uh, coming C is absolutely the right answer, St. George's Day is the correct answer, Jess Butterworth ka jo play hai Jerusalem. Uh, okay, so Jerusalem, jo hai, it opened at Jerwood's Theatre of the Royal uh, Country Theatre in London on St. George's Day. St. George's Day ke upar aata hai and uh, overall you are able to see it is actually trying to talk about St. George's Day. Uh, which of the following characters in Tom Stupart's Arcadia belongs from the past? He belongs from the past. Which of them belongs from the past? Past and present, order, disorder, certainty, uncertainty, that's what Arcadia talks about. Tom Stupard. What is the correct answer here? Very good, Dominator Rajneesh. Septimus Hodge is the correct answer. Septimus Hodge is the right answer. So, Arcadia, 1993 play by Tom Stupard. Tom Stupard be important here. This is telling you about past, present, order, disorder, certainty, uncertainty. Very important. It is set in Sidley Park. We have a Battle of Books in St. James Park. We have a setting that you remember. So, correlate karna is very important, and that is how your retention will be there. And don't think, one more thing people who are focusing for June attempt particularly you're practicing these notes you will make it obsolete try to build on these notes you have a very strong foundation because you're getting aware about what kind of questions you can expect in the paper so your June attempt becomes even better okay uh, so Sidley is parked in English country house in Derbyshire and it takes place both in 1809 and 1812 right on the present day that is what you're able to see okay so please keep that in mind which of the following is not a theme of Milton's Paradise, uh, sorry, Samson Agonist? Ek theme nahi hai. Ek theme nahi hai of Samson Agonist. What is, the, what is not the theme? Women is there to give you a hint. What is not the theme that you're able to see? What is not the theme over there? Absolutely right. Very good. Very good, Ravi Pandey. Death is not there, right? Death is not there. So this tragic, uh, you know, tragic loss of drama that you're able to see, it is telling you about revenge, destruction of God's enemies. It is focusing on betrayal of Samson because, you know, his wife has di uh, divulged the secret altogether. Uh, okay. The negative effect of love. You cannot really trust anyone. Women and men's desire. Uh, that is another thing that you're able to see. So you will have to keep all of these things in mind. Okay. All right, moving on to the next. Who's the oldest son of Tamberlin in the eponymous play by Christopher Marlowe? In the eponymous play of Christopher Marlowe. In the eponymous play of Christopher Marlowe. Who's the eldest son of Tamberlin? Who's the eldest son of Tamberlin? Tamberlin ka eldest son kaun hai? Who's the eldest son of Tamberlin? Who are you able to see is the eldest son of Tamberlin? What is the correct answer over here, everybody? Jaldi se bataye. What is the right answer here? 
No, 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 no. It's it's Cyclops, okay? It's Cyclops. Cyclops, Cyclops is the eldest son that you are having, okay? So, ye bhi, uh, thoda se dhyan mein rakna because Tambulin comes in and you do get questions based on these characters as well. Now, there are a couple of other questions, but like I said, today I'll leave you all a little earlier. Uh, and why I will be leaving you all a little earlier? Because I want all of you to practice and be prepared. Tomorrow, of course, is a highly busy day for all of you. Uh, classroom students are meeting you, like I told you. You, we are having a class at 12 o'clock so uh, please make a note of that we are also going to be meeting at 8 o'clock and we will be meeting at 9.30 jitna zada ho sake usse pehle please apna English in India cultural studies English in India cultural studies wale unit ko up strong kar lije because tomorrow you should be targeting to complete these two units via these sessions that are getting organized for you aap dekh lena lesson plan kya hai aur usi saab se aap please come prepared and 10.30 p.m. for all of you all of you need to assemble here tomorrow because we have a marathon where we will practice 100 questions jitna bhi time lagega to finish the 100 questions that is going to be our, our entire endeavor so just make sure that uh Yes, 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 Aziz, yes, absolutely right. I'm so glad that all of you have, uh, you know, all of you have um, revised, uh, like you, you understood this uh, altogether. Okay, whenever you're practicing over here, you also need to realize that which are the topics that you're really faltering on and you can accordingly stitch those concerns. Okay, uh, chalo. Uh, thank you so much, Ravi. Thanks, Queen. Thanks, Aziz. Uh, thanks, Dominator, Satendra. Uh, English Academy, whichever you can, otherwise you can see it. Okay, uh, Kasuri, I've already made a video shot on it that what you need to do in the last 12 days you can take a look at it thanks so much Pooja that's so sweet of you um uh Thank you, Aziz. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, thanks, Abhilafla. Thanks, Pishal. That's so sweet of you. Thanks, Komal, Amrita, Supratim, Devashish. Supratim, thank you. Su Supratim has been so regular. Supratim, uh, Tanmay, all of these people have been so regular. I think Tanmay has not come today. Uh, Dominator, Rajneesh, Ravi Pandey, Kasturi, Devashish, Rishikesh, Kasturi. All right. Good night, everyone. Sleep well, and I'll catch up with all of you tomorrow for the marathon class. All right. And the classroom students, please don't bunk the remaining classes and make sure that you're attending. Kal Kachu studies or English in India Mara Pura Thanks everyone for joining. Take care. Bye.